Oh, wonderful Lord, wonderful Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, I pray. Thank you, Holy God. Turn to First Peter, hallelujah. Praise the living God, praise the living God. Oh, wonderful Jesus. Praise the Lord. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Start with the first run. It says, For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind, for he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Hallelujah. I think if you serve God, there's somewhere along the way you're going to suffer in the flesh, but the Bible says to arm yourself, hallelujah, with life like minded. Hallelujah. For he no longer should have live the rest of his time in the flesh, but to, to the rest of men, but to the will of God. We're yet That's how we have to live toward the, the will of God, and in the will of God. Yes. Hallelujah. When you become a Christian, you're going to suffer things in the flesh, Lord to God. Pastor. And God lets us to know by his grace, we are saved by the power of God and the salvation. Hallelujah. I thank God for that amazing grace that's still alive this morning. Praise God. Said for in times past for our, our life made success as to have brought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in that seriousness, lust and excess of wine, excess of wine reverence, banquetings, and abominable adulteries. Wherein they think it strange that you should run not with them in the same excess of rights speaking evil of you. You know, when you get saved, you're going to have to face some backlashing from people or from yeah. the adversary. The devil's not going to be content when you become a Christian. I love you. He's going to be right there. But God said to arm yourself with the same mind that Jesus had. Hallelujah. He had to have that mind. Jesus was both God and man. Praise the God. He was God in the spirit and man in the flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. He's going to be the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's going to be that amazing grace. He's never stopped. His grace is sufficient for all needs. Yes. Hallelujah. So who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? For, for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that were our dead, that they might be justified, judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. We are, uh, we're saved by grace, and we live through, through Jesus, through by the spirit. It's the spirit that makes us well, that makes Amen. us alive. Hallelujah. Without God, without his spirit, without his grace, that amazing grace, we would not be here today. Hallelujah. Amen. I've been through the furnace, and I've come out uh, a victorious in everything that I've ever gone through through the years. I've been tested and tried and proven again and again. And you will be too if you hold on to Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch in prayer. Hallelujah. Be ye sober and therefore and watch in prayer. That's the thing this morning. Watch and keep prayer up in your life. Put that down on our prayer life, then the enemy's going to come in like a flood. But if we keep our prayer life in order and serve God, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Bible says that the Lord will raise up a standard against him. Hallelujah. Use hospitality one toward another without grudging. Hallelujah. As many men have received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards for the manifold grace of God. Hallelujah. You know, that's why a lot of times we pray for one another. We have prayer lines, and God yeah, does the work. It's not man that does the work. It's God that does the work. But God wants hands. God wants people to work through. That's how he gets the work done. That's why it's called us the call. That's the be labor. He said the labor on the come. Praise the Lord. He called you to lay your hands on the sick, and they yes. shall recover. It's the prayer of faith that saves the sick. The Bible says in the Lord that raises them up. It's not man that raises them up. It's God that raises them up. And your prayer of faith, amen. When you've got faith, it'll move mountains. When you've got faith, it's a grain of mustard seed. You can ask what you will, and God will do it for you according to his will. Hallelujah. Verse 10 says, As every man hath received the gift, even so minister this same one to another. As good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, 
let him speak as the oracle of God. If any man minister, let him do it as a, of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. We pray for one another, like I said, it's God that does the work. Amen. God wants to be oracles. A, a person that he can use, amen, yeah. for his glory, hallelujah. Right. To each person, God gives a ministry, a calling, and a, a will to do something. But if we sit back and not look, do anything, because the devil sometimes will make you afraid to step out, said, I mean, that he wants you to think you're in the flesh. But if you never try nothing in your flesh, that, that you got the spirit within you. The flesh has to first step out before God that can do anything in the spirit. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By grace, we're saved. We have to step out and launch out. Just like he told in singles, launch out as you go into the deep. Glory to God. The deeper you get out, the greater your ministry. The farther you wait out, the more you're going to do. Praise God. It is God's grace that is sufficient for all men. Glory to God. Verse 12 said, Be loved, think it not strange concerning the fire of trials, which is to try you as though some strange thing had happened unto you. Hallelujah. There's been trials when you go through that. I know I have. Strange things. Hallelujah. The fiery trials which come to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Oh, praise God. Verse 13 says, But rejoice. Inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, that's when. His glory shall be revealed. You may be glad also with exceedingly joy if you be approached by the name of Christ. Happy are you. If we are approached, re-approached by the name of Christ, then happy are you. If you serve God and walk in his name, you will reserve, you're going to receive a lot of reproaches from people. And a lot of times those people is in church. Yeah. You don't have too much problem with the outsiders out there. You get a little pretty pretty good thing. But sometimes you get church, you have a little hassle with some people. Yeah. Yep. That's the truth. Glory to God. It said verse 14, if ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are you. We should be happy when we're reproached. Amen. For the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. Oh, hallelujah. God's going to have somebody that will glorify his name. That will walk before him. They'll be humble and obedient. You'll never walk with Christ and stop, not suffer this, uh, you know, things that people does or says or stuff like that. There's always some kind of things that's going to trouble you that's along right. the way. It may not be every day, but some days is worse than others. Yeah. Like I said, it's not the outsiders that bother you. It's the insiders. Yeah. Said, but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a decent body in other men's matters. Sometimes you, you all probably met some decent bodies mm -hmm. along the way. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's so if you have, yet if any man suffer as a Christian, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. Amen. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Amen. And if it first begin with at us, or shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Christ? Church, we need to be obedient to God and to the gospel of Christ and do what he'd have us to do. Yes. And if the righteousness is sacred, sacredly be saved, if the righteous care sacredly be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? I've often thought about that. If the righteous, if we as righteous people scarcely make it in, where is the sinner the ungodly one up here? Right. Wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well doing as unto a faithful creator. Praise God. Sister Richard, you want to come up and say something for the Lord? I just felt the dude that say this. Bless her. These scriptures, they can read them again and think upon them. Because God still speaks. Praise the living God. I mean, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Bless her, God. She's a blessing. 
It'll be before you know long. Bless her now. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Lord. Thank you for praising God Lord, that He's a good God. Yes, yes He is. He's a right now God. Yes. yes. Serve a God that will never leave us nor forsake us. I thank and praise God for, for the pastor and each and every one of you. Amen. Know that God, hallelujah, know that he will never, ever forsake his children. That's right. That's right. Amen. So could I get my glasses? Just a minute. Bless your Lord. So how you feel. Know okay, we're going to talk just a little bit about the still of the killer and the destroyer. And if I got your word, let's turn to John 10. Thank John. 10. Yeah, John. John. Chapter, yeah, chapter 10. Verse 10. John. St. John. 10th chapter. In the 10th verse. In the 10th verse. The thief coming not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. Amen. That's under our feet. And look at the next verse. I have come that they might have life, and that they might have life more abundantly. Amen. Amen. Verse 11. He said, I am the good shepherd. Yes. Hallelujah. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giving life for his sheep. Amen. Okay. Let's just run over here at uh, the 23rd Psalm. We all know that. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh us to lie down in green pastures. Hallelujah. He leadeth us beside the still water. He restores our soul. He leadeth us. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley, or the shattered death, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. Their rod and their staff, they comfort us. God wants us to know that, amen, even I listen to all the testimonies, and amen, I said, Lord, we all going through to get through. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But God wants us to have that unmovable faith. And if you feel your faith getting a little weak, amen, praise God. Say, God, my faith is getting a little weak. Father God, you said that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. He will give you that strength, amen. Yes. That's why he said, walk in the spirit that we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh, amen. 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 So I just want to tell you today that, Amen. Yes, we all going through, but we got to stand, my people. We got to stand like never before. Yeah. Because we know Satan is on our track trying to turn us back. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But he don't have the power. Amen. Amen. Right. Praise God to do that, hallelujah. Yeah. But hallelujah. We serve a God that set high and look low. Yeah. Amen. God is our higher power. Yeah. Amen. I thank God for power today. I'm talking yeah. about, amen, that was yeah. natural power, that was spiritual power. But so we're talking about the spiritual power. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. God is a spirit. He didn't worship him. He said we must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yeah. He's yeah. in us. His yeah. spirit is in us. Yeah. Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Yeah. We are overcome of that thing, that sickness, that weakness. Yeah. Amen. Trust in the Lord, lean not to your own understanding. Yeah, the five senses, that man, sickness thing gonna gonna attack your feelings, that man, your your mind, your thoughts, your five yeah. senses. Amen. But God is greater than all of that. Yeah. We are overcomer. 
Amen. God said, with this strike, we are healed. Amen. Amen. We are healed. Amen. And I thank God that I am healed. Amen. Amen. I walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. And you know, when my son was telling me all this came upon him, glory be to God. I said, you got to stand in the midst of a storm. Yes. When the wind and the rain beat up on this house, amen. amen. Let it be found in the solid rock. Yes. Amen. That solid rock is the Holy Spirit that lives in, yes. in you yes. and in me. And I thank God. Yes. I thank God how he had brought me over many woes and over many trials, all of us. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. But I want to tell you, when you're ready in the midst of the storm, when the enemy look like he's overtaken, feel like, amen, the enemy going to come here like a flood. Amen. No, hallelujah. He can't do nothing to you unless God allow it. Amen. Yes, yes we're going to feel right. this thing in the five sisters. Yes, we are. Amen. But greater is he that's in our mind and our thought than what's in that's attacked in our flesh. How can I say that? I know that. I've been there. Amen. Hallelujah. And I don't know if God's going to take Try my faith in anything else. I heard the pastor say she wasn't feeling too good yesterday, but look at her now. Praise amen. Because you know why? The devil sees the faith in her. Amen. amen. Praise God. You speak to that situation. Yes, you speak yeah. to that pain. Amen. Glory be God. Yeah. And life and death lies in the power of the tongue. Yeah. Yeah. That spiritual power is in that Praise tongue. Jesus. Speak the word. Amen. Call those things to be not. As though they were. Amen. I am healed. Praise God. Glory be to God. Now, uh, 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 the lady here, she was, was singing, and she said, she wasn't feeling too good. But I said, as I see the center here, I said, Lord, look, look at the Holy Spirit just taking all over. Amen. 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 This, that's that's right. five senses. Strength. Amen. God's strength stepped in. So Amen. I just want to thank and praise God for that. Me too. Amen. God is a good God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let's go to uh, Psalms 59, 59 and 9. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God make ways out of no way. God is the creator of the whole world. God be well. In, God made this earth. And everything that be well therein. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. 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 I thank and praise God. You know, I was thinking about Shadrach and Meshach and Bidenko, how they didn't bow to them gods of the world. Amen. They can't talk, can't walk, can't do nothing. They bowed to the Holy Spirit. They trusted God. Amen. On the way to that fiery furnace. Amen. But that faith they had, a miraculous faith in them. They trusted God. And God wants us to trust him. Look at me. Hallelujah. Okay. What I said at 20 what? Okay. Nine. Nine. okay. Thank you, my people. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Okay. 59 and 9. Okay. Verse 9. Okay. The word of God said, because of his strength will I wait upon thee. But God is my defense. Just wait. Just wait on the Lord in the midst of the storm, in the midst of hurting. You know, when the doctor got a bad report from the doctor, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Your kids may be up to acting up on you. Praying for God to do great things in their life. Yeah. Just have mercy. Amen. Praise God. Just just trust God for it. Just wait on God is your defense. Yes. Yes. Amen. Sure. God, the faith pleases God. Yes. Without Amen. faith, it's impossible to please Him. That's yes. right. The things that come upon us sometimes, glory be to God, it can be so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. But you got to keep the faith. No matter how the pain or how the situation looks, I have a storm is there. You got to say, I'm going to trust God because God's word is pure. God yeah. said, oh, God, you'll never leave me. You'll never leave Carol. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Do you feel forsaken? Don't be. Don't feel forsaken. God is that rock. Amen. Okay, now we're going to turn to um, Psalm 62. Chapter 62, 6, 7, and 8. 
is my rock in my salvation. He's my defense. I will not be moved. In God, my salvation, my glory, the rock of my strength, and my refuge is in God. Amen. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart, hallelujah, before him. God is a refuge a refuge for us a lot. I had learned and yet learned it at an old age how to <clears throat> continue to rest in God. Because this is not our home. Right, that's right. This is not our home. Amen. Praise. We just peer passing through. And be insanely glad. If you doing what the word said do, amen, amen, not just to hear only, but a doer, right. amen, let me tell you, glory be to God, God got something great in store for you, even before you leave this earth, God, it pleases God to see your faith, yes. don't let things shipwreck your faith, right. amen, right. keep your sail up. Keep that spiritual sail up. Yeah. Line up with wings of an eagle in the That's spirit. And know that you know, amen, God is so good to us. Hallelujah. You look at us. Hallelujah. God said he'll bless us in our own legs. Amen. He'll strengthen us. Glory be to God. He'll keep, we'll still bear fruit. Look at Pastor Brand's fruit. <laughs> amen. Amen. She's still bearing fruit. Amen. Look at the fruit out here. You the fruit. Amen. Brother Sean walked away. Amen. But didn't stop her. No, she keep. She kept on rolling. That's she right. kept on paddling. No matter how the storm got. Glory be to God. We got to keep on, church. That's we got to right. keep on yeah. keeping on. Amen. That's God right. said, let the ear hear. Let the Spirit of God yeah. speak to your church. He's yeah. out of church. Hallelujah. He's out of the kingdom. The kingdom of God is within us. It's spiritual kingdom. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. That's right. Bless the Lord. Glory be to God. Yes. Bless the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, God said, you know, just <clears throat> pray. You know, go to your secret closet. Not so much that natural closet, right. but Jesus is my closet. Amen. He that Amen. be dwelling in the secret place, he's in the secret place in me. Amen. He that be dwelling in the secret place of the Most High Amen. shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The moment 23rd Psalm, yea, do I walk through the valley, shadow of death, fear no evil. Yes. Yes. We don't like that little boy. Praise God. Uh, and fear. God didn't give us fear. That's right. That's right. He didn't give us the spirit of fear. And fear gonna come. We gonna cry. He gonna knock at your door. Hallelujah. When he said not, don't say who is. He said, I'm so loud. Yes. I'm not gonna bow to this. Yes. Yeah. God said I'm here. God said I'm an overcomer. Amen. So God mm -hmm. wants to know fear not. Jesus. God didn't give us. What did he give up? Love and love and so power in the sound mind. Amen. Do you have a sound mind? Amen. Do you have a sound mind? Amen. Not so much as just natural mind, but do you have a sound mind? This is just spiritual mind. God said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Not the water that we uh, we seen pastor drink. Not that water, but I'm talking about that spiritual water. Right. When they pierce them in the side, what come out? Water and blood. That spiritual blood, that spiritual one. I pray many times, I said, God, let your spiritual blood overtake my natural That's blood. Right. Cleanse my blood. You got to know how to talk in the spirit. Yeah. Amen. So God was supernatural God. Hallelujah. God knows just what we need. Praise God. Yeah, and I thank yes. God for the mystery of his word. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. We got to get into the deep of God. We got to, as Pastor said, we got to get out of the deep. It's time to get out. What down south they call it the dish thing. The little the little blue gills float. But we gotta go out there deep. We gotta get them soul. We are fishermen of man. Who was that I heard somebody said, uh, they testified to somebody. 
you know, like she might, what's that to you? Uh-huh. Amen, yeah. like uh-huh. they want to hear. That's good. God wants us to do that. Yeah, true. Hallelujah. God wants us to know that. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Pray that we are children of God. So, thing that's coming upon the earth already is. Amen. We're living in perilous yeah. times. Perilous yeah. times. It's right there, everywhere, Bless up and down the Jesus. street, in the storehouse, in your home. You got to know that you know that you are serving the Lord. Amen. Yes. God will never leave you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless. Amen.